Hello my dear student, how are you? Hope that all of you are fine. I am also fine. I am Saiful Islam, lecturer of mathematics, milestone college. Welcome all of you to my online class again. Today I will discuss about some MCQ of exercise 2.1 and 2.2 of your general math. So let us start our class. Look, first question. Who first explained the concept of set? We know a German mathematician, Josh Cantor. Josh Cantor first explained the concept of set. G E O R G E C A N T O R. Josh Cantor. And his date of birth is 1845. And he has died at 1980. You should know this also. He first introduced the notation of infinite set and this notation now is known as set theory. So you should keep it in your mind who in who introduced first set but who has explained the concept of set that is George Cantor is a mathematician of Germany. Okay now second question if a is equal to x such that x is the factors of 20 is an expression of which method we know we can express the set in two method number one is set builder method set builder method and number two is tabular method This is which method? I think this is set builder method. Set builder method. So we should give that click tick on the set builder method. And the another name of the set builder method is rule method. And again, tabular method is the another process. If I express this in tabular method, what it will be? We should write the all the factors of 20 as a set of as the element of set A. What is the factor of 20? We oh, you know factor of 20 is 1, 2, 4, 5, 10 and 20 and this is tabular method and we know the another name of the tabular method is roster method. Now next question which one is finite set say it is given for set and B it is given R C it is given Z and D it is given A B dot 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 Z now which one is finite we know there are two types of set finite set and infinite set which one is finite set if the elements of a set is limited, that one is finite. And if the elements of a set is unlimited, that one will be infinite. Now I have given four set. First one is natural number. Now is the set of the natural number is finite? No, because we know the number of the natural number that is infinite. So the set of the natural number is also infinite. Similarly, the set of the real number the set of the integer number also infinite set but look it is it is starting from a and ending at z that is finite set so what is the finite set which one is the finite set i think this one will be the finite set now answer the questions norm 4 and 5 from the information 3x plus 2y comma 6 is equal to 4 comma 2x minus 2y by using this information we will answer 4 and 5 number question which one of the following is correct equation due to above ordered pair look it is a ordered pair it is given a ordered pair is equal to another ordered pair if two ordered pair are equal we can make two equation from this First element 
will equal to the first element second element will equal to the second element so what will be the equation the equation will be 3x plus 2y is equal to 4 3x plus 2y is equal to 4 and 2x minus 2y is equal to 6 2x minus 2y is equal to 6 so these two are the equation from this above information now question number 5 what is the value of xy by solving these two equation we can find out the value of xy we know there are four procedure to solve the equation number one is substitution number two elimination number three cross multiplication and number four by using graph here you can use any one of this but you can apply the technique to find out the answer of this solution because this is not cq this is mcq so if you want to solve it just add it if you add this plus 2 and minus 2 will be cancelled 5x equal to 10 so x equal to 2 we got the value of x equal to 2 if x equal to 2 putting the result in equation number 1 we get we will get 3 2 are 6 plus 2y is equal to 4 so 2y will be 4 minus 6 that is minus 2 so if 2y is equal to minus 2 y is equal to 1 y is equal to minus 1 minus 1 so what is the value of x and y the value of x and y is 2 minus 1 now question number 6 look what is the number of upper subsets of set p equal to a b c it is given the element of p is 1 2 3 and if there is three elements of a set what will be the total subset of that set we know number of subset of a set is 2 to the power n where n is equal to number of the element of that set and there is three elements so the value of n is 3 so 2 cube is equal to 8 so the total subset of this set is 8 total number of the subset is 8 but our question is Over subset over subset we know there is only one improper subset in the subset of a set that one is the set itself we know the set itself is only the improper subset so we should minus one from the total subset to find out the proper subset so subtract one from here it will be 7. So there are 7 proper subset of the set P. So we can write the formula like this also. Proper subset, proper subset is equal to 2 to the power n minus 1. So keep it in your mind, the number of the proper subset will be 2 to the power n minus 1. Now, Observe this main diagram. It has given two set A and B and also given a universal set including A and B. 1, 2, 3 and 4. 4 elements are over there. Now we will answer, answer the question number 7, 8, 9 by using above information. We will answer 7, 8, 9 by using this information. Now seven number question. What is the value of b to the power c at first what should you mean by b to the power c b to the power c means the complementary set of b b to the power c this is the complementary set of b that is u delay b now to find out this is it need to identify the set of u I mean the element of u is it need to identify the element of b no no need to identify the set u and b here but if we observe the Venn diagram we can easily find out the complementary set of b look that is if you delete b 
from u you will get complementary set of b so if you delete 2 and 4 from u it remain 1 and 4 so easily we can say the complementary set of b is 1 4 similarly u minus a intersection b if you want to find out the u delete a intersection b at first you should find out a intersection b i think if you observe the venn diagram you can find out a intersection b that is 2 that is 2 this is a intersection b now if you delete 2 from the universal set u you will get 1 3 and 4 so the answer of 8 number question is 1 3 and 4 now 9 number question what is the value of u delete a intersection b u delete a union b here at first you should know what is a union b here a union b is all the elements except 4 because 4 is outside the set and 1 2 3 these are a union b now if you subtract 1 2 3 from the whole set i mean universal set it remain 4 only so the answer of 9 number question is only 4 hope that you have understood this very easily so by observing band diagram we can find out any calculation very easily now question number 10 look at the board for two finite sets of a and b it is given two finite set a and b now by using this it is given three information we will check that which information are correct it may be one of them it may be two or all of them are correct look information number one a cross b is equal to x y such that x in a and y in b is it correct if you multiply the two finite set a and b the elements of that set will be a ordered pair yes we know when you multiply two set two set the element of that sets are ordered pair and it is given as a ordered pair and first one come from the first number that is a and second one come from the second number that is b so first one is correct because if you multiply a and b the elements will be an order of fair first one come from the first element uh, first element come from the first set and second element come from the second set two number question so one number is correct two number question uh, two number information if n of a is equal to a what do you mean by n of a number of element of a is a number of element of b is b then number of element of a cross b is a b is it correct i wanted to show you an example after that you can uh, tell yourself that is it correct or wrong say a is equal to 1 2 and b is equal to a b c so number of element number of element of a is 2 number of element of b is 3 we will prove that number of element of a cross b will be 2 3 zero, 6 now if you cross multiply if you multiply a and b what will be the element of a cross b it will be like this 1a 1b 1c again 2a 2b and 2c now count the element of a cross b there is 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 element so it is proved that it is proved that number of element of a number of element of b if you multiply that will, will be the number of element of a cross b so the number of element of a cross b is the product of the element of a and 
B. That is correct. So this is also correct. Each element of A cross B is an order of pair. I have told you that the element of the Cartesian product is must be ordered pair. The element of the Cartesian product must be an ordered pair. Look, these are ordered pair. These all are ordered pair. So this is also correct. So all three information are correct. Now question number eleven. If a is equal to 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, which one is the correct expression for the set A? Actually, here set A is given as a tabular method and the options are given as a set builder method. And which one is the correct set builder method for the given tabular method set A? Look, it is from 6 to 13 all the natural number from 6 to 13 so x is n x is the element of natural number and 6 is less than x less than 13 is it correct no this is not correct why it is not correct because it is given less than that means 6 is not included in this set but look here is 6, 6 is included again it is given less than 13. Are they less than 13 or equal to 13? No, this is equal to 13, not less than 13. If it is only less than 13, it will be 13 will not included over there. But look at the set 13 is included over there. So one number question, one number option is not a correct. Similarly, D number say look, this is correct. 6 is less than or equal, but look. This is only less than 30. So it will not be correct answer. C number option. This is correct. Less than or equal 30. But look. 6 is less than x. This is not correct. So we cannot say C number option is correct. But look at the D number option. 6 is less than or equal. And x is less than or equal 30. So this is correct answer because 6 is included over there and 13 is also included over there. Now question number 12. Which relation is a function? We know every relation is not a function. There is a condition to be a function. There are two conditions but I will show you here one condition to be a function. Look these four options. S is equal to 2, 3, 2, 5, minus 1, 1, minus 1, 2, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 2, minus 5, 2, minus 5, 6. Look, what is the difference? Look, the first relation, the first element are same. The second relation, first element are same. The third, fourth relation, first element are the same. If the first element of any relation are same, it is not a function. That is a first condition to be a function. A relation should be a function if the first element are not same. But say, look at the C number option. 3, 4. First element are not the same. But second element may be same or may not be same. This is not a fact. But first element should be different, should be distinct. So, option number C is correct. 13 numbers, if f of x equal to s square plus 3x, then f of minus 2 is equal to what? It is given function of x is equal to s square plus 3x. Now, if function of 2 will be minus 2 whole square plus 3 into minus 2, we will put the value of x is equal to minus 2. That means we will place minus 2 instead of x. So it will be 4 plus 4 minus 3 to the 6. That is minus 2. So the value of f of minus 2 is minus 2. 14 number question. If g of s is equal to ax plus 2, for what value of a will be g of 1 is equal to 0. Look, it is given 
g of x equal to a x plus two. It is also given g of minus one equal to zero. So we can write g of one, not minus one, g of one is equal to a into one plus two equal to zero. So we can find out the value of a from this equation. A plus two equal to zero. Therefore, a equal to minus two. Here also, the value of a should be minus two if it want to be g of one is equal to zero minus two. Fifteen number question. Which one is domain of the relation? Look, this is the relation. There are three elements of this relation. First element is two one. Second element is three two. And third element is four two. All are ordered pair. But which one is the domain of this relation? We know the first element are domain of the relation, and second one is the range of the relation. So it will be two, three, four. These are the domain. We can write domain like this. Domain of S is equal to Three, two, four. Three, two, three, four. Two, three, and four. So, if the question is like this, what is the range of this relation? What is the range of this relation? So, what will be the answer? The answer will be second element of the ordered pair. That one is one, two, and three. Now, question number sixteen. How will be the graph of the function y equal to three x? Look, y equal to three x. This is actually a linear equation. The exponent of this equation is one, so it is a linear equation. When we know the graph of the linear equation is always a straight line, so it will be a straight line. The graph of this equation will be a Straight line, not a curved line. Look, question number seventeen. If f of x equal to s square, then f of two plus one by f of two minus one is equal to what? We will find out the value of f of two plus one, f of two minus one. Where f of x is equal to s square. So it will be two square plus one, two square plus One by two square minus one, two square plus one, two square minus one, four plus one, four minus one. That is five by three. So the result of this question is five by three. Now eighteen number question. In function y equal to two x plus one. It is given three information about uh, about this important uh, question, and we will check which information is correct. One of the points on graph paper is one three. If you want to find out the point of this equation, you should put the value of that point. Look here, the value of x is one, and the value of y is three. So check it. If you put the value of x is one, what will be the value of y? It will be two one the two plus one three. So this is correct. This is a point of this equation of the in, on the graph paper. It is a straight line. Look, just now I have told if it is a linear equation, it must be a straight line. Is it a linear equation? Is it a linear equation? Yes. This is also a linear equation. So the graph will be a straight line. So two number point is also correct. It is a curved line since it is a linear equation, so it must be a straight line, not a curved line. So one and two number information is correct of this question. Now the last question, nineteen number question. If f is equal to x y such that x in C y in C and x is equal to two y, this is a function or now. For c is equal to minus one zero one three, then we will find out the that function. Look, what is the condition? Here, condition is x is equal to two y. 
x is equal to 2y and x come from c y also come from c x is the element of c and y is the also element of c where c is minus 1 0 1 3 so we will find out the function now look if we follow this condition and we if we put the value of y is equal to minus 1 0 1 3 because y also come from c so what will be the value of x in this equation look it will be minus 2 0 0 2 6 now the element of x minus 2 come from c no minus t minus 2 not belongs to c this 0 belongs to c yes so this pair is correct for this function again this 2 belongs in c no this 2 is not belongs on c so this is not correct and 6 6 also not belongs on c only this pair 0 2 0 is the element of this function because both 0 belongs on c here minus 2 doesn't belongs on c minus plus 2 and 6 also doesn't belongs on c so we cannot take that pair we can only take 0 0 so the answer of the 90 number question is f is equal to 0 0 only this one is the answer of 19 number question so my dear student hope that you have understood my lecture if you have any more question please ask your subject teacher no more today see you again allah Hafiz and assalamu alaikum